Good day, I'm Aisling, and surprisingly enough, I've been on a win streak since the beginning of this uh, recording session. I did not expect that, to be honest. And I am actually a little bit afraid about the level of commentary I then have, because there's gotta be some reason why I am s all of a sudden doing way better than I'm used to doing. <laughs> and normally I always, I'm the king of misplays. At least that is how I look at myself, so... I'm very... This deck just in some ways resonates with me, and I just get it. Which may be actually a, an awful thing about the deck in itself. Against a warrior, I think everything in here can be be thrown away for... Except for the Black Wing Technician in the hopes of getting tempo and dragons. And dragons. I mean, it's a dragon itself, but nah, won't work. We need Nefarian again. Come on, Nefarian. Hmm. Hmm. Could we... I do not like going for Twilight Whelp alone, but I think we need it for just the tempo play here. This may be a loss. Just because of the uh, tempo that we cannot gain because of the value here. is not in it. I mean, really, how many cards in this deck is it's just dragons? Quite surprising that we cannot get much more out of it. Oh, okay, I haven't drawn any of them yet. Are you freaking kidding me? Well, Blackwing Technician can at least get played. And let's just end our turn here. I don't... If, if I can get the Twilight Dragon some way to stay alive, I will. But I don't believe the Unstable Ghoul will actually be able to... Um, yeah, we're probably he's probably just going to trade in in this way, but that is only fine with me. It's going to, this Twilight Whelp is going to die anyway. So, I have not lost anything by this. And he doesn't play anything like an Acolyte of Pain, so... This is going to be more than fine, especially if I go in here. Northshire Cleric. This one is going to have... be able to heal for two. I'm meaning we can draw some cards. Hopefully getting a freaking dragon. Thank you. <laughs> this is... Except for the Twilight Whelps themselves, we haven't gone, gotten any dragons, and that is... Still, I feel very surprising. Very, very surprising. Also, I have to stop moving my head that this much. If looking at the recording, all of a sudden I am very loud, and all, all of a sudden I'm very... Uh, very silent, just because that I'm moving my head further to, towards the screen, past the mic here. But we can go for a Twilight Whelp. Yes, and it is buff too. Villain's chosen, so this one is wonderfully alive. And hit him in the face. Get all this freaking armor off him. We don't want that. And he would probably w go in here just to kill the Twilight Whelp. M making himself ready for a play with the uh, Grim Patron. So we have to look out for that. Though these two will be able to trade with any Grim Patron mate. So as long as we can get that thing to work, what that's now? fine. Interestingly enough, he's trying to kill my Northshire Cleric or my Blackwing Technician. I mean, I can just heal them up again, so he would have to deal the rest of the damage this turn. Or he will have done nothing. Yes, he, I can heal it, and then he will just be able to kill it with a Death Spite next turn. Hobgoblin, awesome! I love, really like the, the use of something that we haven't seen before. Like that. Cool. I want that Hobgoblin. Well, I haven't... I had a... Yeah. We had a Twilight Whelp that has been killed, but I'm, except for that. Hmm. I think... If I go for the uh, Wild Power Mancer... Resurrect... We're going to get another one that is going to kill, that is fine. But we can get through with to this one. Yeah, we, we can also... This is not the best play by a country mile, but... This way he has to uh, go in for this one. He cannot just hit me in the face. I think that is the best way to deal with the Hobgoblin, to be honest. I could have played the Azure Drake too. Hello, Azure Drake. But then I would... Um, let's see. Ah, yeah, cool. 
but then he would I would n- probably not have been able to get into the hobgoblin so he would probably just be able to steamroll me uh, or snowball as it is a proper wording and the NOH one would probably also be able to trade immensely irritatingly he and the aggro of pain is just play him him drawing the, a lot of cards I will take that next turn I just I need the cards really I don't and I don't want him to get cards so probably the best thing to get out of him so I'm cool with that I the thing is about the play before with this play here it felt not good but it was also certainly not um, it was the best play that I could see it was certainly not a very a good a very good play but yeah I think still it, it was probably not the correct one but it was yeah what I'm trying to say is that it just felt awful to do but it was the best thing that I could see to be done thank you now I make sense somewhat feel this way and face cool so Kumagas next turn and then we can just really get a lot of stuff out of these Asia Drakes now we haven't seen any shield slams or we haven't seen any executes so we probably still have to try and be a little bit more uh, hope for the best with Kumagas but probably because he's going to be able to um, kill it in some way hmm could also go for Asia Drex immediately okay. if we go in with this and this then he will still be able to execute my Kumagas don't like that can also take four to the face going in this way Obey. that is probably the better value so I'm actually just going to do that So the question now is what to play. This is probably we're going to get card draw, we're going to buff this thing. Even if, if especially if we're going to get villains chosen, it's going to be great. Let's just so that he cannot whirlwind here. And in that turn. So the Dragon King should be pretty safe now. And if he actually wastes something like an execute, Cool Magasis then very much going to be in a good uh, be a uh, very safe play because he probably doesn't have the second removal yet. We're only nearly halfway through his stack, so probably he may he could maybe have the second one, but very likely it is that it, a second execute would be somewhere in here. Okay, so also if he should just hit me in face, these two obviously in to kill the uh, shield maiden is the best thing because we keep the Cabal Shadow Priest alive. But he just kills minions, cool. So that is... He's pretty much doing what I wanted him to do. He nearly also shield slams here. Oh dear. Battle Rage. Not the best out of it, but we are certain now that it is a Grim Patron deck. Battle Rage seems to me to be really, really good, especially in a deck like that. Has, isn't really used that much in the, the normal co uh, Control Warrior, but... Battle Rage is certainly a good w way to... Um, to uh, to get back if you actually get the Grim Patron stuff started. If he now whirlwinds, I'm going to get a lot out of the Acolyte of Pain. Oh dear, he does. Huh. That is something that I did not expect to see. And he wanted to play something else, but he doesn't al isn't allowed to do so. Okay. Well, I am just going to really just throw down everything I have, remove as many of these as possible. And obviously I don't want to spawn more of these, so I think this is the best thing that I can do. He can brawl, uh, but I it would be 1 out of 5 that he, his Grim Patron would survive. He can obviously kill 3 of mine then, but I'm still going to be in a pretty good position. Except if he go, if his Grim Patron actually uh, stays alive, then he's going to be able to spawn another one by, by my Sludge Belcher. He's actually going to be able to get in a pretty good position if he gets that far, but seems very unlikely. But he goes for the combo. Oh dear. Okay, Mata Bomber, cool, and more cards for me. And until now, not really hitting the 
Grim Patron getting me, giving me a lot of cards, dear. And not hitting the Grim Patron. Thank you. Thank you. The Matter Bomber, a really nice play, and probably trolled and worth it if it actually works, but sadly this time around it didn't. Though I actually would have, if, you, if I had lost to a play like that, I would have been more than fine with it. And now that is a pretty cool play. Still, I mean, it gets another Grim Patron out, it gets a uh, charge, and it also gives him a lot of armor now. And he may also be able to kill one of my Dragonkin now. Mm. So, yes, this, this armor smith actually did pretty much what it has had to do. Well played. well played. I like it. So we would have to kill this one before we can go for an, uh, a wild power mancer. In any way. Yeah, I really have to deal with this armor smith, but I first probably have to deal with the rest on the board. In some way. Uh, not completely sure what I'm trying to do here. Healing this one up would not be the worst. 7-7, seven, seven. yes, I like that. I don't expect him to have the big game hunter. Hmm, Shadow Word Pain. So I should probably have gone for the card draw first. Then we could have killed the uh, Warsong Commander. And then we could have traded. Yeah, I would have been fine with that. Yeah. Yeah, I like, actually, w I should probably have done that instead. But he can still trade in this way. When we would still have the Asia Drake to trade this way. Finally stopping him to, from actually having now what? Like uh, 34? Yeah, 34 HP pretty nearly. Uh, not really the best. But we can heal with Northshire Cleric and get a lot of card drawn again. Especially with Chromegas, so... We have a lot of cool stuff in hand, we just have to no. gain enough board control to actually play it. The thing is that I'm right now just trying to deal with the board and get into a position where I can play something like Chromegas without a problem because Chromagus is just alone killed immediately by all of these so I'm just right now trying to see if I can gain a board advantage in some way or gain board control so that I can play all of this damn stuff that is really right now the problem okay cool so he's right now just doing exactly what I expected him to do oh Okay, so he gets even more armor now. Okay, so... Okay, I like that. Why doesn't he trade though? Why did he not trade? Is there something that I'm missing here? Because he should trade, right? Because I can just do this. While Pyromancer. Northshire Cleric. Go for this. Heal this one. And there's the Holy Nova so that we can pretty much get everything healed up. Giving us a lot of cards actually next turn, so. And now you should do it down and then a Holy Nova. Oh, damn. Well, we can still heal. <laughs> so that's something, right? Though he has no cards and he is top decking, so maybe this is actually the time to actually just Chromegas now. Because that is probably the best time, because he cannot combo and execute, he cannot do anything else. So just Chromegas and then heal the Asia Drake. Yeah, I like that. I don't see any reason to do anything else. Maybe also drawing cards would probably be the worst in this position, because we are getting pretty close to fatigue, I would say. We probably, at least at this point now, have to think about the possibility of going into the fatigue, so... Yeah. Except if he just locks off and quits, I... Thank you, that's my turn. Chromagus it is, and... It should wake it is. And let's get that armor down. Slowly but surely. And since... A warrior does not have anything that is um, that is hard removal except if comboed, like execute. Yeah, he has shield slam. That is actually the only pos possible thing that could happen here. Let's go for some more cards. Hmm. 
so we could heal up here and go for this. Oh, two of these. This is going to be awful for him. And let's go in here. Oh yes, this is a wonderful hand. <laughs> this, even yes, I the waiting was worth it. As we get, even though that he's probably. He can now execute the Chromagus, but with this hand, and even if we are going to mill ourselves, we can we can pretty much kill anything that he could play with all of these Holy Novas. And yeah, we've got. I mean, this one Holy Nova is just five. Damn, just say that. But this is just going to be five damage to any minion, and so yeah, we're in a pretty good position here. Hungry Dragon. Did I actually have lethal? I don't think so. Let's uh, trade this one away. I don't want it anymore. Kill him nearly. There we go. <laughs> well, this is wonderful. It is though the, uh, much more fun to use Chromagus if you're actually not winning like this. Just mainly due to the fact that uh, there's nothing for... Uh, there's no. I, I'm just winning no matter what. A brawl is the only thing that can win this, but it doesn't have one. If he had brawl, he could probably have uh, gotten one of these two out of it, and that would have been perfect. Oh, a sludge belcher! Wonderful. Cool. <laughs> GG. I like it. We had some trouble at the, in the beginning, but we just kept him away and waited until we actually got board control, and then we played our big threats. When they were safe and we were sure that we would get great value out of them. And we did. And he couldn't get out of it. Also, he did top the end up top decking in some way. So, he wa was not in really in the best position as a control warrior. Or, Grim Patron is really just the cheap version of a control warrior. That is nothing wrong with. It is a great deck. Great deck. In no, in no way it is bad to not have a lot of legendaries. I really like the fact that you can now go for a control warrior without legendaries, so it should no, in no way be taken wrong, but the fact that he did not have a massive hand actually was very interesting, um, to say the least, because he should be able to play it like a control warrior, so yeah. Let's go for the Northshire Cleric to get that Frostbolt out of him. There we go. Also, Shadow Word Pain, awesomely enough, for the Mech uh, Warpers, so... Since this is obviously, or uh, most likely, going to be a Mech Mage. Also, especially since he is a Golden Mage, so... He has a lot of wins, and either he's a long-time player like me, or he is a Mech Mage. Okay, he's a long-time player, cool. Well, we could Wild Power Man so, then, so that we could, uh, could um, get a lot of healing done, but that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I like it. I mean, we don't need to heal with the Northshire Cleric immediately. And a Flame Cannon. Cool. So, um, so it may be a more control-focused thing than an actually a... Um, a, a so more, thing, more something like a control mage in some way. And not a mech mage. Because they, those, to my knowledge, do not use Flame Cannons that much. So I stand corrected. Oh dear. Well, we can still kill all of this. Sadly, we don't have the Northshire Cleric anymore, but we can kill all of this. And heal up. Oh, we could get the Northshire Cleric back. Oh, yeah. Oh, I may actually just do that next turn to get the card draw. A Northshire Cleric for two mana is not the best value, but if you get a lot of card draw out of it, yeah, I like it. So if we can... Get the Tinkertown Technician down, Swesso a keel, and get a card. That is so awesome. Yes, there we go. Northshire Cleric. Heal. <laughs> cards. Ah, yes. There we go. More cards. Oh, hello. Let's see if we can get him played at turn 8 or something. The thing is that there are legendaries like, um, like Dr. Boom that you can just play on turn 7. And doesn't matter because he's just board control in, in himself. But Chromagus is very much um, going to be just uh, very vulnerable in some ways. Even though he is a rather big minion. He's still certainly somewhat vulnerable in some ways. So 
Yeah, I think we're going to go for this for turn 7 for Megas and just hit him in the face. We can, if he should go in and kill the Black Wing Technician, we can just hold him over. Yeah, we won't be able to heal anything, though we can trade or try and kill everything else that he has played at the same time. So, yeah, it should probably work fine. Also, we can Wild Power Man some maybe and some spell before holding over. We have more than enough mana for it. This is 5 mana and then we have still 7 mana for something else. Fireball. Okay, so he's going to go in there. So no more Northshire Clerics anymore. Yeah, it's probably... Oh, <laughs> I stand corrected. So... Is someone injured? Can we play the Hungry Dragon too? We cannot. That's a little bit irritating. We could go for a wild power mancer just so that we don't don't need to trade with the uh, technician here. Wait a minute. I not quite what was planned. For some reason I thought the Holy Nova dealt three damage. So that pretty much messed everything up. Okay, damn. So we should just have gone for the hungry dragon plus Holy Nova and then have traded immediately. Mm. Armor plate and cool. Oh no! Jesus Christ! What the hell am I doing? <laughs> Not Fucking hell! <laughs> I am for some reason uh, blacked out all of a sudden. This this game is awful. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Okay, so the hungry dragon should spawn something that is uh, yeah, so that is as a one HP thing or not. So let's trade in here. Valen's chosen on that. And have a 710. Okay, cool. Finally, I am back with only minions that I actually understand. <laughs> Damn, that was awful. Well, seems like... Seems like I'm getting a little bit tired right now. And we are lucky enough to not having our hungry dragon killed. And he just actually goes for face because he doesn't want to deal with this. I, I can understand that. So, hmm, probably this. Yes, these minions are bigger, but they're also at the same time... Um, uh, they all, the, the other mech robber would snowball him, so... Let's just go to get this. Chromega is probably going to die. We are probably not going to get any cards out of him, but he is going to be killed. So we still have the Hungry Dragon out, so, and that is still a 710. Chromagus is, even though that he is a smaller target, he's still a very much a more frightening target. And now we're going to see one fireball after the other. He should have two, at least two spare parts right now. Nah, the second spare part that I'm thinking of is a mechanical Yeti here still. But if after he has traded, he should have a lot of spare parts ready. To pretty much kill me in one turn or two. Yeah, he probably has me dead. I can't trade this way, but then he has already... Well, he should have be able to get a lot of fireballs out of this thing. He has one spare part in his hand. So should it be just trade this way? Yes, cool. Then he should have... Okay, so we can go in there. Heal, finicky cloak field. I like that. Reversing switch. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am not agreeing with that play to be honest, because he could have gone for this one, Cockmaster first, switch it around, then go in, but okay. So, give a, give a friendly minion stealth, damn, we cannot go for this. That would have been cool though if we could have given it stealth so we could have gone through the taunt, that would have been awesome. But sadly, we can't. So if we heal with this, Cloak Field, Twilight Whelp, and um, Dragon can hit with this. Static Swarm Boost, cool. Either we are, uh, we are probably dead. He has one. He has two Fireballs, that is 12, plus a 7. Yeah, we're pretty much dead, aren't we? 12 plus 7 is um, 19. So he would still need a Frostbolt. So actually we should have not played the Static Swarm Boost and healed ourselves. Then we would still be alive. What to do? What to do? Because he's a mage, he's gotta have a frostbolt by now. 
he has to have a Frostbolt by now. He should have two in his deck. And he'd be pretty much halfway through his deck. So he should have been able to draw this, at least one of them. Right now, so... He doesn't. He had lethal. Cool. Mistakes were made. He had lethal. I'm, I'm just... He had lethal. Seven in here and then first bolt. He had lethal. Okay, let's heal ourselves. And hit him, hit him, hit him in the cell. In the, let's try that. And hit him in the face. He still has um, two fireballs this turn. So he still can kill me. But if he actually realizes it. But he did, he did just miss a lethal for one turn. What a well. I mean, you, he did kill me in the end, so it doesn't matter that much. But if I had actually healed myself and not played the Acidic Swarm boost, and then also healed myself this turn, would he then... Then he would have had the Frostbolt not for the Acidic Swarm boost, though. Then he would have hit me in the face. Yeah, then I would probably also still be dead. So I probably can't say that this... I probably would have been dead anyway, but either he missed lethal or just BM'd me in some way because he just felt way too safe. But that's fine. This deck though still feels really great. And if you want to play it, you can either just take the deck straight from here. Or if you want probably to have it a little bit better than this, uh, go for the um, the link in the description where you can see the, right, uh, the correct, or not the correct one, but the version that I, uh, that I found or the version that should be a little bit better. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. See ya.